In this video, I'm going to be showing you the Knauf Planner Suite, a Revit plugin that allows you to generate actual products for many different wall types and ceiling types, get them into Revit, and every product that you use uh, is going to be for your region specifically, so you know that this is something that you can actually get for the project, and most importantly, you're going to get all of the up-to-date specification for those items. Let's go. First, let's talk about the benefits that the Knauf Planner Suite offers to architects, including saving projects, products, and systems tested uh, to EN standards and the ability to generate a full K10 specification document, the standard template for plasterboard, dry lining, partitions, and ceilings in the UK. This follows on to the Planner Suite launch last year. I have created a video on this topic. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to be including a link up in the cards above. Now, the original version allowed users to search for systems in the system finder, uh, providing up-to-date and validated product data, and of course, a plugin for Revit and Archicad. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can search uh, individual products, use all of the refining search options and then bringing the, those products into Revit. And finally, we're going to be producing a K10 specification for all of those products in the project. If you want to get Knauf Planner Suite for free, of course, the link is going to be up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. And full disclosure, this is a sponsored video. So without any further ado, let's jump straight to Google. And as you can see, I have Googled Knauf Planner Suite. I'm going to open up the website and here at the bottom, you will find the download links. So you can see that for Revit, we can find for Revit 2021 up to the current version, Revit 2024. So just like with the Autodesk website where we have four versions back, well, it's the same here. So for each one, you will have the appropriate plugin. And also if you're using Archicad, there are options for Windows and Mac users for Archicad. Uh, I obviously use Revit, so I've downloaded the Revit 2024 version of the plugin. And now when I minimize the browser in Revit, as you can see, we get this Knauf Planner Suite tab on the ribbon when we install the plugin. And here we have some tools. So first I'm just going to open up the home page and it's going to start the Planner Suite here. Let me just position it a little bit better. And then if we open up the menu and go to settings, what you'll notice here is that we have some options. So for localization, I'm going to be using the United Kingdom. Now this is really important to set up correctly. So wherever your project is located, you want to have that location set up here because it's going to show you the products for that particular market. So you know that the products that you've used can actually be found on your market easily. Uh, so so the next option here is the plugin management. So we know that our plugin is up to date. And finally, we have the system finder search method. So I'm just going to go with uh, this one to show uh, results directly and let's save this. Okay, now let's go to the system finder. So that's this option here. I can just click here or I can go back to the menu and go to find systems. I want to start off with walls and particularly interior walls. So I'm going to click here on partitions. That's going to start the menu. And then here we have the results. It's showing us uh, 164 results. However, we want to refine the search a little bit. So let's go here to fire resistance and I'm going to set this to EI30 for the fire resistance. Then for the sound insulation, let's set that up to uh, 50 for the sound insulation. Then for the partition height, I'm going to set this to 3500 millimeters. We can see that the possible range is up to 5000 millimeters, but this will be enough. And as we're entering all of this data, as you can see, the search is being refined. So we're now down to 17 results for these uh, options. And we also have this additional search refinement. So here for framing, I'm just going to open up that menu and go with the Knauf single metal stud. Then for the plasterboard thickness, let's go with the two 12.5 millimeter uh, plasterboards. Uh, then for the uh, type, I'm just going to go with the Knauf fire panel. 
For the number of layers, we're going to go with two. For the profile, I'm just going to pick this one. And then for the uh, type or system type, I'm going to go with this one. And we end up with this one result, but I'm happy with the the one and this is what they want to use. However, if I want to compare it with something else, I can use this add to compare option. I can also favor it so I can uh, access it easier later on. However, in this case, I just want to import that into Revit. Okay, so once this is imported, I can close this down. And now if I select my interior walls, I'm just going to hold the control key and select multiple walls here perhaps these ones as well. Okay, now I can go here to the menu and as you can see, this is the wall type that we have uh, imported. So I can just switch to this wall type. And now as you can see, it has been placed here inside of the model. And of course, another really important thing to mention is that now with this wall, if I select it and go into edit type, you will see that the layer structure uh, is exactly how it should be from that, uh, uh, from that actual product that is available for Knauf in UK. Uh, we can see all of the uh, layers here with the proper materials applied with all of their proper properties. And also if I cancel out of this here under identity data, we have some more information on this exact product. Uh, so everything is included in the actual uh, system family. Now I'm just going to click OK. And now let's search for a wall liner. So I'm going to go back here to System Finder. It's going to open it up again. Let's make it a bit smaller. OK, perfect. And then let's go here to Wall Liner. Open that up. Uh, then for the uh, parameters here, I'm only going to go with the wall lining height. And for this, I'm going to set it up to 3500 millimeters, hit enter, and that's going to refine the search a little bit. Then let's go here into refine results. And here I'm going to set the framing to Knauf wall liner. Uh, then for the number of plaster boards uh, or uh, layers, I'm going to go with one. Uh, then for the profile, I'm going to pick this one. And for the system type, I'm going to pick this one. And now I'm going to pick this wall uh, liner. I'm going to click on import. So it's going to bring that into Revit. And here, as you can see, it's loading it in. So now when I go to architecture, when I open up walls, for the wall type, we're going to pick the uh, wall liner, which we have now loaded in. Then I'm going to use the pick lines tool for placement. And for the location line, you want to pick the core face exterior. And now when you hover over the interior edge of this wall, it's going to allow you to place that. And as you can see, it's just placing that on the interior side of this wall, just like that. Uh, now, once you have placed it, and let's place it here as well, and then hit the escape key a couple of times, you want to make sure that you use the join geometry tool to have a proper connection. So for that, let's go here to modify, and then let's use the join geometry tool. And then you want to join this with the interior walls, or at least I like to start with the interior walls. But then you also want to join it with the exterior uh, walls. Uh, the reason for this is if I just open up the 3D view, uh, what you'll notice here that it can sometimes as you can see here, these windows are being blocked. So we cannot really see inside. So if I switch this to realistic, for example, you can see that these are being blocked. So now if I tile windows, just like this. And then if I use the join geometry tool here between this wall and this, as you can see, it's going to create that opening uh, for that uh, window. So you just want to make sure you do this with all walls. You want to join the wall and the uh, wall liner. And then you can just hit the escape key a couple of times. And then of course, this wall liner will have all of the parameters and all of the identity data that we need, as well as the uh, layer structure that's necessary. Now it's time to go to ceilings. So here in this section view, as you can see, we have this 
ceiling here, here, and also for the uh, upper level, we have an additional ceiling there. So let's load in some actual Knauf products for the ceilings. I'm going to go to the Knauf Planner Suite, go to System Finder, and then let's go back to Restart. And now here I'm going to search for ceilings. So let's open that up. Then for the fire resistance, I'm going to use the same category as I did for the walls, which is this. And then let's refine the results a little bit. So for the plasterboard uh, thickness, I'm going to go with the uh, two times 12.5 millimeters. Then for the plasterboard type, I'm going to go with the Knauf fire panel. For the profile, uh, let's go with this one. And then for the system type, I'm going to pick this one and that's going to refine everything down to one result. And I'm happy with this one. So let's import it into the project. And now I can minimize the planner suite. And here inside of the project, I can select, hold the control key, select these two ceilings, and then let's find the uh, Knauf ceiling. And I'm just going to apply it there. So there we go. Let's go. We can add the ceiling. And then, of course, if I want, I can use the uh, join geometry tool in order to join these ceilings up with the walls and everything. So everything uh, looks the way it should and the layers are properly uh, set up. So, uh, of course, as with the interior walls, if I go here into edit type, you'll see that the layer structure looks how it should. We have all of the materials applied and then also we have all of the identity data. Now, all of this is nice and well and us architects enjoy this part of building the actual model. However, there is that documentation and specification part uh, which can be really annoying and it can get really complicated, especially if the documentation is not up to date. Uh, luckily, with the Knauf Planner Suite, if I go back to the System Finder, open that up, uh, here I can go and find the export button here in the menu and then I can select the items in this case let's select the two walls that we have used and let's say I want to export this data I, I can see the total quantities or the area of these walls which is really nice uh, and then I can uh, also highlight and model so I can see them but in this case I just want to export and most importantly we do get the K10 specification uh, file format I can also include the uh, project name client name uh, execution start uh, end, and so on and now if I click here, uh, it's going to start the export and I can just define where I want to save it. So if I just want to save it on my desktop, I can do that. Uh, so let's just hit save. And once we have saved it, this is the actual document. As you can see, we have all of the up-to-date specifications, uh, the K10 specification format, and uh, we can use this for our project and we don't have to worry about is everything in order, do we have to call them and so on and so forth. Again, if you want to try the Knauf Planner Suite, I've included the links down in the description of this video and then also up in the cards above, there is also a web app version if you're interested in that too. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, balkanarctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.